Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to the rationalinvestor.co's ongoing tutorial series with the good people at Coinage. This is Brian Beamish, your rational investor. Um, here today with another tutorial. Today we're going to look at on balance volume and try and incorporate volume analysis into our uh, into our analysis approach here of cryptocurrencies. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the crypto uh, the Coinage uh, site here. What a beautiful site it is! Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and log in. I've already logged in, so I'm all ready to go here for you guys. Um, and as you can see, I've gone over and selected the markets. Uh, we're going to be looking at Bitfinex and we're going to be looking at BTC USD. As you can see, it's really simple. If I wanted to maybe look at Litecoin, all I do is click on the Litecoin. And there she is, right? So really simple. And the cool part about it here is by default, uh, they'll throw on the volume bars here for you. So we'll talk a little bit about volume today. Specifically, though, what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at one particular indicator that I like to use when I'm studying volume, uh, and it's called the on balance volume indicator. Very simple. So we're just going to, as you can see, my mouse here is up in the indicator panel. We're just going to select indicators. Then we're going to scroll down, and you'll notice that it's in the defaults here on balance volume. So we selected that and what you see is a nice line that comes on here. What I like to do, and it's just me, you don't necessarily have to do it yourself, but I like to see the volume bars over the OBV. So I've selected the volume. You can see it's got the little white dots over it. I right click and you'll notice that it says merge up, merge down. We're going to merge down. So doink, that puts now the volume bars with the OBV and the price chart is all on its own. So specifically today, uh, and you probably heard me say it a few times, um, you know, when I run my school programs uh, to try and teach uh, new traders how to trade, um, what we do is we develop what we call setups, right? These are pre-set uh, conditions that if a number of things happen and they all line up, then we're going to take a trade. And I'm a really big fan of having three separate unrelated studies uh, give you a signal to take a trade. And, uh, you know, through my previous tutorials working with Coinigy, I've talked about uh, momentum analysis, which we don't even have on here right now. Uh, we've also talked about price analysis through uh, things like fib FIBS, which we don't have on here now. And I personally like the idea of including a volume analysis uh, study in your trade decision process. So that's why I've decided to include this volume study in our tutorial series here. So you have a couple studies on momentum. Uh, I think so far we've done MACD, we've done moving averages, which in essence MACD is a derivative of moving averages. Uh, and we've done relative strength index. Um, and now here we're going to take a look at volume and uh, the OBV indicator. So. What is the OBV? I mean, in very simplest terms, as you can see, it's just simply a line representation. And OBV simply stands for on balance volume. So what it simply is, is just a running total of up versus down volume. So when you see a red candle like here, that's going to be a negative on this on balance uh, volume indicator because it's just basically a running total of, uh, of you know, what the on balance volume is. So you can see, for example, this really big green bar here that pushed our OBV indicator to new highs, right? We waffled here. Then you see this selling bars coming in here. That's why I like to overlay these because they often uh, correspond nicely with each other. And you can see OBV broke down here, a little bit of up volume, OBV came back, then some more sellings, brought it back down. And then, oh boy, here comes the selling bars. Boom, 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 boom. And you can see OBV just take a nosedive here. So uh, the point here is OBV is an excellent, simple tool just to give you a message of, you know, what is the underlying impetus of the volume trend. Um, now, how do, and, you know, just to finish off, OBV by default usually um, 
you know, technically speaking, you should be able to set the amount of periods that you want to study the OBV on 20 periods, 50 periods, 100 periods, whatever. By default, this trading, uh, this chart applet system defaults it to 50 periods. And for my intents and purposes, that's fine. You know, I mean, the long and short of it here is I just want to see what the battle is. And clearly, you can see as the bulls came out here, the on balance volume indicator just started to tank here, um, which is the information that I want to see. Now, um, through previous uh, tutorials and, of course, site members and, you know, by all means, at any given point in time, if you want to go to our site, uh, this is our, um, our live room that you need to have a paid membership for. If you want to um, go to our tutorials page, there are further videos that I've done. This is a free access page. Um, and there's a full, uh, you know, slideshow presentation and video specifically on OBV and the different ways that I use it. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just try and keep this as simple as possible. We need to understand that everything that we do as technicians is based off of this concept of market structure, right? Where M's are bearish, right? and W's are bullish. We've talked a lot in previous uh, video tutorial videos here for Coinergy about seeing market structure within price itself. Um, we've talked about market structure within the indicators for momentum analysis. Hopefully you can appreciate that market structure within the volume indicator is also extremely helpful information. So clearly, you know, as price was topping out here, you should have been able to get the message that some nasty bearish market structure was coming in on the OBV, where we got a sell right here, right? We went up, down, up, fail, all right? And then we also went up, squiggly, squiggly, down, fail, and another sell here. So we're actually OBV, before price really started to break down in earnest, OBV was already giving us market structure failure signals. So uh, now the, the real power to this tool, and I'll finish off um, with this simple message here on this video, is the concept of divergence, all right? If you can find a situation where your indicators are making uh, different, uh, well, actually, let's start this off. Start the sentence off a little differently. If you see that price is moving to a higher high, but your indicators are not, this is what we call divergence. And this, in my opinion, is the real value of indicator analysis. In fact, a lot of traders that I worked with over the years, they don't like using indicators because by definition, an indicator has to have, be lagging in information, right? Because it looks at the past. The way that I use indicators to actually hint at future price indication is I hunt for these, what are we called, divergences. So hopefully you can see that as price was making a higher high here, right? The public generally was probably pretty bullish. And you may have even had some late retail buyers come in here saying, oh, this is a breakout. We're going to higher highs, bull market, yada, yada, yada. However, if we look at our indicator itself, right, and uh, vol, you know, like what we say in the course, right? Volume speaks volumes, right? So if we look at our indicator and price is making a new high, but the indicator is not, that should be a major warning sign to you. And then on top of that, we made further price deterioration and further indicator deterioration. There is no reason for us to be bullish here. And, you know, if we couple this simple analysis with previous tutorial materials, specifically our optimal trade entry zone, 
we have no reason to be a buyer up here anyway, right? I mean, we should be targeting down here to be a buyer. Um, and as you can see, by time price actually got down into our potential buying zone, the, our indicator here was saying, do not touch this thing. Just leave it alone, right? And sure enough, kaboom, down she goes. So hopefully what we've done here in today's video is demonstrated um, how we can apply a simple volume indicator to our price chart. And in this case, we decided to use the on balance volume indicator. Um, I've shown you how you can overlay that indicator and separate volume from the price chart so that you can use something like an OBV in conjunction with the price bars, right? Or the volume bars. Um, and we've also demonstrated the, you know, I would say the most powerful application of these tools, and that is the hunting of this concept called divergence. If you can apply this concept of divergence, remember earlier we said we want to have three independent reasons for taking a trade. If this level up in here happened to res re represent a trade location, maybe this was OTE off of the entire range, which you know, looks like it just might have been, eh? So you could say reason number one uh for taking a trade is optimal trade entry zone reason number two is bearish uh, volume divergence all you need is some one a third reason to take a trade here and you actually have what i would call a trade setup maybe that is a momentum indicator maybe that's a candlestick pattern maybe that's a price structure pattern I don't know, but the long and short of it here is hopefully you can see that through simple fibs, right, which we did in the previous tutorial, plus volume analysis, we actually have two of three reasons to start considering taking a trade. And it turns out hunting trades in this, uh, short trades in this zone was not a bad idea at all, eh? All right, guys, why don't we leave it at that for now? I think that's a nice introduction to OBV, and we've actually coupled it with another uh, concept that we taught in a previous tutorial. So if you haven't watched the Mac, uh, the uh, FIBS tutorial yet, I would recommend that you go and watch that. And uh, why don't we leave it at that for today? So you guys have yourselves a great day. All the best. Any questions, you know, feel free to pop over, ask me through emails, whatever. Um, more than happy to help you. And um, excellent site these coinage you guys have put together. Really, really good tools. And I highly recommend you take the most uh, advantage of it. It's a really, really good site. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. All the best. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.